call 1-800-754-5018 today. Hey, I'm Morgan. Are you ready for your driving test? Uh, just remember to buckle your seatbelt, adjust your rearview mirror, and check the blind spot. Mrs. Hall already managed to fail six students before they even started the engine. No. Hey, Marty, what's up? You seem so exhausted. I wish I didn't get enough sleep last night. Somebody kept ordering takeout and sending it to our house that we didn't order all night. Really? Yeah, like souvlaki, Szechuan-style roast beef, and, and all kinds of things like that. Oh, even a basket of assorted ham. Really? Ah, Blair Resnicky, just the person I wanted to talk to. What that? <laughs> Hey, you look a little worn out. Maybe huh. it's because you've had a lack of protein in your diet? No, I'm fine. I just I haven't had enough sleep. Oh, well, Morgan, uh, I picked up a little snack at the calf. It might pick you up a little. What is it? Lime Jello, your favorite. <laughs> Morgan, no! You can't eat that. It's made with gelatin. Yeah, so? You know what gelatin's made out of, don't you? What, animal? Technically, yes, but none of the good stuff, just the bones and hooves and stuff like that. That still counts. Oh, man, no. Lime jello was like my favorite dessert up until about five seconds ago. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, oh, oh, no. Uh, geez. Roger, we're over here. Yes, I see that. I just can't seem to... Roger, hey. are you okay? What's wrong with you? Hey. Here's what's wrong with me. He's always what's wrong with me. Yeah. So, Rod, you ready for the big test today? I look like a kidney. No. Yeah, he needed a little help, so I left up my car last night. <laughs> Seven hours with no brakes and the steering wheel jammed to one side and the gas pedal stuck to the floor. I had to wait until we ran out of gas before I could stop from going around and around and around. On the right side, I think I have mastered the art of the right turn. Even if it did cost me every sense of equilibrium I ever had. Ah, Morgan, I'm ready for you now. <laughs> Car's waiting out front. Let's see if you can be the first student to make it out of the parking space without getting a failing grade. Okay. Uh, wish me luck, everyone. So, hey, Morton. Uh, I caught you a pair of driving gloves for the occasion. Oh! George. Letter! Oh, pass. And you're next, Roger. Till high noon. Oh, five minutes. That's exactly how long your broadcast will be each week once I win this bet. <laughs> Anything can happen in five minutes, all right? Oh, sure. It's lunchtime, and Morgan has realized she's hungry enough to eat a horse and do just that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Morgan! How'd it go? Did you pass? Yeah, never mind that. It's lunchtime. Hungry for something meaty? <laughs> it's a little undercooked, don't you think? Morgie, there's a dead squirrel in here. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't just leave him there on the side of the road. Yeah, I think we can all safely agree that roadkill isn't something to bring the class for show and tell. It's me, Blair. I did it. I'm responsible. Morgan? I don't know what happened. You know, my driving test was going so well, and then we turned around the last corner, and he was just there. And now he's... Flat. Dead. He's dead. Yeah, well, dead too. Obviously, dead comes when you're flat. <laughs> Mrs. Hall went ballistic too, eh? She said that it was her first driver's ed fatality ever. Oh, Morgan, you must feel so awful. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I won the bet. <laughs> Morgan's actions directly injured another living creature. And uh, it's not exactly the same victory I would have enjoyed if she would have eaten a sirloin steak, but still. 
I'll take what I can get. You bet on me? Oh, oh I, I bet for you, not against you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Squirrely. You lost. Whoa, what are you guys looking at? Ah, cool! <laughs> Uh, you know, they can't bring this to class for show and tell. Uh, not since my last incident with me and the moose. That's not for class. So what happened to him? Morgan killed him. Morgan did it. Well, not on purpose, Blair. Oh, what was this? Just now, during her driving test. I don't think so. What are you, what are you talking about? Well, as far as my knowledge of rodent pathology extends, I can clearly say with authority that this squirrel has been dead for over 12 hours. How can you tell that? Well, factors like lividity, body temperature, and... <laughs> odor. Yeah, no, 12 hours. That means that squirrel was dead long before Morgan even came. <gasps> Dick Morgan, was he moving at all when he hit him? Well, no, I mean, he was frozen. I thought he was frozen out of fear. Frozen with rigor mortis, more like. Okay, then what killed him? I'd have to say a massive heart attack. Notice how his left paw is clutching his chest and the other one is clutching... the true culprit. What is that? A half-nibbled cork rind. Blair, have you been feeding junk food to the squirrels again? Well, I had to. I mean, look at him. That could have been me in there. Provided I was about uh, that big. But I can't eat that stuff. That stuff will kill you. Just ask him. Well, then Morgan's home free. She hasn't harmed any animal directly or indirectly. <laughs> and Miss Atoll will have to pass her once she sees the evidence clearing her of her roadkill charge. <laughs> We're gonna give her the corner support as soon as she gets back with Roger. <gasps> hey, Roger, how's... Well, how'd your driving test go? Well, the right turns, uh, they were great. Then I was asked to make a left turn. I'm not really clear on what happened after that. <laughs> Further testing ha has been suspended for the day. The, the student driver vehicle is out of commission, <laughs> as is the south wall of the gym with fire hydrants out front. And, uh, uh, yes, a quarter mile of hedges in the adjoining park. <laughs>